my last question. Uh, for individuals, climate, the climate crisis seems overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Like there's nothing that an individual can do. Mm -hmm. what, what's your advice to individual people to fight this thing? Yes. I said earlier, one of the biggest questions I get is what gives you hope? People. When we see someone else doing something, that gives us hope. When I see someone else in Lubbock, Texas, driving a plug-in car in front of me down the road, I'm like, oh my goodness, there's somebody else, right? When I am at Lowe's and I see somebody hesitating in the light bulb aisle and they're looking at the LEDs and I kind of feel like, I don't understand these things way, but they're gonna pick one and they're gonna take it home, I'm like, there is hope. When I hear somebody talking about it, did you know one of the most important things we can do is talk about it? Because 75% of people in the entire US don't even hear somebody else talk about it more than once or twice a year. When I hear somebody else talking about it, there is hope. Because why would we care if we don't talk about it? So if there's one thing that you can do to make a difference, have a conversation with someone. You don't have to say the words climate change. You don't. Talk about the curve in the road. Don't haul out science and start whacking people upside the head with it. No, share from the heart. I'm concerned that we're getting a lot more heavy rainfall now than we ever used to. And they're saying that, you know, Hurricane Harvey could come back in the future, possibly in our lifetime. What is it that we can do to work together to make sure that when it comes back, my neighborhood, my community, our city will be safe and prepared? What can we do to make sure that when the water dries up, because we know droughts are coming back too, they always do, what can we do to make sure that we have enough water for people? What can we do to make sure that, hey, you know, our air quality is actually looking pretty good these days compared to where it was 10 years ago. Let's make sure we keep it that way because the hotter it gets, the worse the air quality gets. Let's connect things to things that we care about here that anybody who lives in the city would care about because it affects us personally and our lives. We can have great positive conversations with people about what are things that we can do right here in the place where we live. So that's my challenge to you is have a conversation and talk about it. That is the most important thing we can do. I have a gift for you. You've been terrific, Catherine. Oh, thank you. Because we like to say it's our time, we give clocks. Oh. Thank you so much.